Hello, um, today is a bit different on the blog. Uh, I've been sat on this footage for the best part of two years now, and um, yeah, when I went to go check it to edit it finally, I realised that a big chunk of it is missing, and so I'm not able to make it into uh, the documentary that I wanted to. Uh, so yeah, I figured I'll share it on the vlog. Um, so yeah, it's a bit different, but I uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, something I've realised is that I don't have all the footage from Mount TD. So, that's the main reason why I'd actually been sat on this footage. Because I've never been able to actually finish it because of that footage. Um, I ended up deleting it when I did like this mass hard drive. I had to partition my hard drive essentially. And uh, I ended up deleting a lot of stuff. And I must have accidentally deleted all the Mount TD stuff. Uh, which was some of the best stuff because you know we're going up this like giant mountain um, in a jeep so I'm quite glad about that but yeah here's the rest of it After watching the documentary Blackfish, in 2014, I finally went to an orca show. I had to go and see it for myself. Orcas are my favourite animal. And what I found was... tragic. They're confined to these small pools. No freedom. And I was sad and upset that we as humans passively allow this to happen for entertainment. As I was leaving the arena, this one orca just lingered there, staring at me. I felt helpless, but I knew they wanted help. I stopped filming. I wanted to have this moment. I put my hand on the glass, upset we let this happen. Currently, 61 orcas are held in captivity. They should be free. That's the main video part of today's vlog over. Um, just needed to share that footage because I wouldn't have done it otherwise. Uh, it was a bit different from usual vlogging. It's not me obviously going around just telling random stories from my day. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be doing much today anyway. The weather is still mega windy um, and that's about a week now of crazy weather uh, from presumably Storm Doris still, I don't know. Uh, but I'll link Storm Doris here, that's kind of where it all started. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to share this Tenerife little video and uh, just a few lasting pointers on Tenerife. Um, I felt like yeah, it was a very relaxing location for me to go. I felt really relaxed in Tenerife um, but I suppose that's where you stay. We stayed in a nice place and we uh, we had all inclusive so we was able to just get drinks and food all the time um, whenever we needed them and I think that kind of played into that really. But there's there's a lot you can do there. You can go to like water parks or you know the, be the best thing there is the volcano. You can go up the volcano and um, that's the part that's missing from this story, which is annoying, but, you know, 
I'd recommend people, if you've not been, I recommend you to go because it's a volcano, it's awesome. It's the power of nature. But yeah, uh, I think it's a pretty cool place. And I think I'd like to go back again and perhaps experience the volcano a bit differently. Maybe I'd like to do a walk up the volcano um, or try and acquire some permission so that I can actually go to the very top of the volcano because you can't actually do that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, again, a little bit different today, but hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Look at what I'm using for uh, my light. That is a laundry bag and a super intense torch in there. I put a torch there for some uh, light at the front. <laughs> now it's over. <laughs>